This is a perfume bottle. And if you think about what does this have to do from an ink perspective, obviously you can't rub off, but even more importantly, it has to be resistant to the chemicals that go inside, which is primarily alcohol. So if you're faced with the question how to select the proper digital ink for your application, what you really need to do is ask yourself first, what are the requirements of the application? This is a perfume bottle. And if you think about what does this have to do from an ink perspective, obviously you can't rub off, but even more importantly, it has to be resistant to the chemicals that go inside, which is primarily alcohol, which is what forms uh, the basis of many perfumes. So the ink in this specific case has to be very resistant to alcohol. You might have an ink that is incredibly flexible and highly reactive, meaning it doesn't take a whole lot of UV energy in order to afford to activate. But the flip side of that is, unfortunately, you might do away with chemical resistance. And if that's unimportant to you, then, then great. But what you've got to do is find out what your ultimate product is required to do. Migration is another topic. If you're printing on food packaging, many materials that are used in food packaging are permeable by chemicals. So you can't necessarily print any UV ink on a material that's gonna come in contact with food. You have to make sure that there will be no migration or chemical migration of monomers into the surface of the food. Once you've gotten to the point where you can identify all of the requirements, performance requirements of your ink, the next step is how you get that ink onto the material. And you have to ask yourself things such as, what is the resolution that I must print at? What is the droplet size? Does the print head have to have recirculation? Once you get beyond the print head selection, and now you start talking about the robotics, well then you start talking about whether you're single pass or scanning, and ultimately you're gonna find yourself an integrator who can put all the pieces together and provide you with a turnkey solution that will print on your object and meet your requirements.